Hey Gemini, welcome to my channel, The Traveling Blossom Tarot, where adventure meets the tarot and growth is in the cards. I'm so happy to have you here and I just want to say thank you for your support, your encouragement. The growth of the channel has been amazing. We reached over 300 followers last week. I am so, so grateful for that. Thank you so much. Also, I want to direct your attention over to the monthly tarot giveaway that's on the community tab, as well as invite you to join me and the others on Mondays live at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time over on my Facebook page for live tarot with free card pulls for you. Without further ado, Gemini, let's jump into the tarot and see what energy is coming for you. What is going on? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels, Divine Mother, Father, and Sisters, and Loved Ones. Highest energies for Gemini. Overarching Gemini, please. Highest energies for Gemini. Gemini, I hope you're doing well. If you're Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or Mercury, there might be something in the following reading for you. Take what resonates. Leave everything else behind. Um, keep in mind that past, present, future happen simultaneously. Ooh, fertilizing. What you've been growing? What are you? What are you gardening? Are you working in the garden? We have fertilizing, so fertilizing your dreams, nurturing your dreams, supporting them. Number ten reduces to a one, so a brand new beginning here. Uh, this is where you take up the soil. You know, when you're needing your garden, you take up the soil, take all the dead stuff out, and you know, really nurture it and fertilize it and stuff. It says food is not the only thing that nourishes you, dear one. Be mindful of what you feed your soul. So Spirit is saying it's time to um, bring in better things, bring in nutrients, things that feed your soul, things that uh, promote growth within, uh, good you know, friends, family, soul tribes, those, those types of things, community members, putting, you know, leaving everything behind that doesn't serve you, that doesn't help you or support you, Gemini. This is all about uh, feeding your soul wonderful good things and starting at this new place this new beginning for yourself it's like you're weeding out all the all the uh you know dead weeds um all the uh brush all of that you're weeding it out you're cutting everything out so spirit is saying cut out the things that are no longer good for you and uh bring in those things that are that's really beautiful i like that for um you gemini I really do. Let's uh, see what else the cards have to say. Now, I am seeing, I thought there was just one B. I was really highlight, uh, really noticing the one B right here at the top. So, emphasizing that new beginning. But then I seen, just down here in the distance, I want to show you if you can see this. Uh, so, I seen this one B right here at the top, very um, dominant, able to see it, you know, very clear. And then, right down here, right there. There is a little bee off in the distance. So what this um, tells me is for some of you Geminis, you might be welcoming in a soulmate. Someone can be off in the distance and ready to come into your life. So, oh, exciting. Very exciting, Gemini. I like that. Oh. There might be um, a little bit of difficulty coming together with the soulmate. Um, there might be a few obstacles in the way, which is why Spirit is saying you have to, you know, clean out those things that no longer serve you and uh, bring in nutrients and um, things that support your soul and your heart, your mind, your spirit. Definitely could take some time. You may not have even started communicating with this person yet. Um, you may not ha uh, be in contact yet. It may be someone that you haven't even met. It could be someone that you've never met before. Because I see them off in a distance. Quite a ways off, too. And there's no um, actual communication at this present moment. If you follow my channel, you know when my cards are quiet, there's no communication. So the cards were starting out, the rippling, very quiet. Um, just kind of putting one card out at a time. So it's like you're handling things, I feel like, Gemini, you're handling things one thing at a time. And that's actually good. That's the best way to, you know, handle a lot of weeding and, and uh, gardening out your soul, right? Uh, you want to take your time. You want to make sure that you're uh, getting rid of things that definitely you don't need, um, you know, 
old equipment, those kinds of things, getting rid of those things that you do not need. I don't pull cards, Gemini. Um, I let them flip, fly, jump, do whatever they need to do. And wow, they started flipping. Uh, whatever they need to do to get from me to you. So, oh, okay. Let's get these up here, 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 here. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. doing a Celtic spread here so uh, if you want Gemini you can fast forward through this section there is often though a message you know as I'm riffling the cards and pulling them out there's often a message um, so it's totally up to you totally up to you I do see a lot of you cutting cords. Um, they're really emphasizing this thread on this card of the fertilizing. So I do see a lot of you cutting cords and under this, uh, you know, new energy um, that's coming through with everything that's been going on cosmically, you know, the uh, solar eclipse, Chiron um, conjunct the North Node, Mercury in retrograde, there's so much going on. And that's really what we're doing here is we're cleaning out um, we're cutting cords. You may be doing rituals. Uh, you may be thinking about doing rituals or actually performing rituals. You may need to actually do a ritual. Um, something to release someone. The energy here, um, I'm feeling that you're very drained right now, Gemini, uh, at the heart of the matter here at the center in the current present time there's the uh, nine of wands that's very drained um the energy that i get it's very drained and i i feel like you're drained from activity from uh, mental activity uh because what is crossing you is the knight of swords and the knight of swords is uh it is new information it's new ideas um things coming in but it comes in really quickly so it can be exhausting right it can be very exhausting um it's it's uh real fast impulsive energy um wow yeah real fast impulsive energy and i feel like you are drained from it okay um you may be uh you this may have been draining you for some time actually you're telling me to go again. This is so much energy for a potential outcome. But they're telling me to go again. So, okay. Wow. Yeah. Gemini, what I'm seeing here is... Um, <laughs> If, if you can't let go of some things, if you cannot release yourself from um, some things that might not necessarily be good for you, in the, it's going to take you over, sweetheart. It's going to take you over. It's going to um, completely take you off course. It's, gonna, um, it's just going to hold you back. Is what I really feel. Look at this. We have the Empress on the um, bottom of the deck. That's about nurturing yourself, giving yourself that love, giving yourself that care. You know, it goes right along with this fertilizing card. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, they want me to take that. So it goes right along with this fertilizing card. And um, I'm being guided to take this uh, Six of Pentacles as well because this is about generosity. It's about care. It's about uh, give and take. It's reciprocity. Uh, people, you know, helping each other out, helping each other out. So this Empress energy, I feel like it goes with this um, fertilizing card. Spirit is saying, Gemini, you have to take care of yourself. You cannot give, 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 and not hold anything back for yourself because it leaves you depleted. And right here at the heart of the matter, at the center, here you are, nine of wands, completely depleted, completely drained, bedridden possibly. You know, you may be um, becoming uh, depressed, 
You might be just, you have no energy, you just have no desire to do anything, no desire to move, to get out of bed. I have, okay. Yeah, you might be a little clumsy. <laughs> you may be um, just a little out of it, just totally a little bit out of it is what I'm really getting. And I feel like it's due to uh, mental exhaustion, like this Mercury retrograde may be. Uh, something that is just completely um, exhausting for you because it's it's crossed here by the Knight of Swords and the energy that I really get is, uh, you know, just drained and no focus, no desire, no will, no strength. Um, the energy is really, it's like depleting. It's, it's very depleting and I feel like it's a mental exhaustion. Now, um, with spirit guides you may have been receiving a lot of downloads most of us are a lot of information coming in so you know you could be exhausted from all that and spirit is saying rest now nurture yourself take care of yourself you've had a lot of information you know come into your realm right um so it's time to take care of yourself and um, nurture yourself uh, give yourself the things that you need even with the um, six of pentacles it's about charitable it's about charity it's about giving gifting so you're gifting the nutrients the things that you need to support um, yourself and to um, to set yourself up to make you strong for this brand new beginning this new chapter this new leg in your journey because we have the 10 reducing down to a one so there is that ending and that new beginning right now you're in the in-between that's what I like to call the in-between when we're reducing down from a 10 to a 1 I always like to call that the in-between because the ending is here the beginning is right there but you're in the middle right so this is the time where you nurture yourself you take care of yourself you feed your body and give yourself that um, energy that you need and this could be with the um, nine of wands coming in here with it being crossed by the knight of swords this could be about you taking a mental break you going out giving yourself a mental break go outside get in the forest get in the woods go somewhere where there's not a lot of noise a lot of um, stuff a lot of energy going on and just get outside in the woods somewhere and ground yourself in, and um, you know breathe that energy in and re generate and recharge yourself because I really do feel like you're you're very um, overwhelmed with some mental energy right now and it, it could be you know lots of ideas you could um, this energy is impulsive so it could be that you're gaining um, you're just ready right because you're in the in-between but you know this new beginning is here this new chapter and you're just itching for it to start like so you are unsettled you have a lot of that nine of swords energy that unsettlement where you're um, you know anxious and uh, ready to you know spark ready you're ready for something to pop off you're ready to um, start moving forward so there's a lot of that energy but the thing of it is is when we are um in, you know so ready when we're on on like hey i gotta go i gotta go when we're like that it can be draining it drains us because we're go 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 it's very um what i feel is very aryan energy which is the energy that we're in, you know, all of this is happening in Aries. And Aries is very driven, very motivated. Every Aries I know, <laughs> every single Aries I know is like um, boom, 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 boom. You know, they're, they're always on the go. They're very much on the go. So it can be very draining. So this energy, I feel like um, for uh, Geminis, and I am a Gemini, so for us Geminis, I feel like it's it's been pretty exhausting. It's been overwhelming, and um, there is uh, some possibilities that we may, you know, need to, to pause a little bit longer or um, to just take a break uh, to, you know, set aside some time, um, you know, quality time real good quality time for ourselves to recharge ourselves because if not things are not going to be clear it's going to be really murky really muddy and um you know even though you have this energy this action energy this aries you know action oriented energy um everything's going to be murky and cloudy and uh you might
might go down wrong paths. You, it may steer you in the wrong direction. So I feel like there's this need to um, get centered, you know, to, to go out and rest your mind, especially rest your mind because that energy is there. Uh, this is definitely the time to be taking care of yourself while you're in the in-between. In the recent past, you have the Queen of Swords. So um, recently, you know, you've been pretty okay. You, you've you been calm. You know, the Queen of Swords uh, in the upright, she's she's logical. She's calm. She's together. She's, you know, she's got her wits about her. She's not frazzled or um, scattered or anything like that. Now, in the reverse, she can be very scattered, but she's not here, see, She's um, in the upright, so she's been um, like in the in the in the recent past. I feel like you've been protecting yourself and protecting your mind and your spirit and your dreams or whatever. But you've you've been possibly a little guarded. Um, the Queen of Swords, you know, she is, uh, you know, can be like, uh, yeah. I got your number, <laughs> you know, so a little guarded or something, but uh, I feel like it's more of a protection, like where you were really protecting your mind and your spirit. And so all of this coming up with uh, Mercury retrograde, you know, it always brings things back. It brings things back around. So all this information that's coming back around, it's overwhelming you, you know, so um, seemingly for someone that, you know, pretty much has it together. Uh, right now, it's just a difficult time is what I really get. I feel this impulsive energy to pounce, to do something, but there's this just frazzled mind. It's um, like there's no focus. There's no, uh, not even a direction. Like I don't even feel like there's a direction of where you really are going just yet, right? So, yeah, I'm not quite sure how that plays out. Um, in your, uh, in your goals, in your, uh, crowning you up here in your goals, you have the three of wands. You're definitely wanting to take action and you're wanting to go toward, toward your desires, your dreams, your hopes. So definitely wanting to take action and move forward. Um, but unfortunately I feel you stuck right now. Um, and then again, it may not even be the stuckness, although I do feel you stuck. I feel you stuck, but I feel like almost maybe spirit is sticking you there so that you can go and um, regroup, recoup your mind and uh, get, get to get, you know, deal with the thoughts, deal with everything, process everything that came up, go outside, get grounded, that kind of stuff. But um, I feel you really wanting to, to leave. You're wanting to take a step. You're wanting, you're ready. Like you physically feel ready, but mentally you're not. And that's what I feel like Spirit is saying here. Physically you're ready, but mentally, Gemini, it doesn't seem that you are ready to move forward into this next step, this next leg of the journey. Um, I was trying to get your readings out, and I do want to apologize to you, Gemini, um, and, and air signs in general. Um, i late getting them out because we've had a lot going on. We, um, my grandson lost his father um, a few days ago, so, you know, I do want to apologize for not getting it out to you, um, but I, I have no idea where I was going. I was going somewhere. I told you, Gemini. There's, a, yeah, we're a little out there. Um, yeah, I was going somewhere with that. Uh, the three of wands taking action. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you're wanting to be out there. You're wanting to get things done. We'll we'll just you know move on. I feel like I went completely off the off the story there. So sorry. Um, but coming back to your cards and what's going on here is I feel you wanting to move forward, but mentally we're just not ready. We're a little scatterbrained right now. This energy is really difficult for, you know, it's difficult for everyone, but it hits us Geminis and us, um, you know, Virgos and stuff a little bit harder. So it, the energy is a little bit, um, I'm hearing discombobbled. So, so we'll go with that. Uh, emotionally. Emotionally, you are um, 
feeling pretty good. I mean, you're not, this is all mental energy. Emotionally, you're, it seems like you're feeling pretty good. Uh, you are feeling, um, you're in charge of your emotions. You're in charge of your emotional cat, uh, you know, self. Um, you're possibly utilizing a lot of compassion, a lot of understanding, because we have the King of Cups here in the emotionals or in the emotion. So this could be a time where you're having to utilize a lot more compassion and empathy toward um, yourself and um, even others. But this energy, it really feels self for you, Gemini. It feels like it's centered around you. So I feel like um, emotionally, you know that you need to be a little bit kinder to yourself, a little bit gentler, a little bit easier with yourself, more compassionate with yourself, you know, not beat yourself up so much, be so hard on yourself for maybe mistakes or something you may have made in the past that are coming back around and saying, hey, Gemini, <laughs> you know, something like that. But you know that you need to be a little bit kinder to yourself. And I feel like that maybe you're trying, like you're, you're starting to, um, calm down a little bit in the mind space, you know, because you are in the in-between. So you may be calming down a little bit in the mind space and actually uh, realizing, hey, I need to take it easy on myself. I need to nurture myself and give myself that love. Spirit just keeps reiterating throughout your reading here, Gemini, nurture yourself. Empress energy, you know, the fertilizing, nurture yourself. King of Cups, he takes care of himself, nurtures himself. He's kind to himself. He's caring. He's very, um, you know, good to himself. So, you know, it's like spirit sitting here just continuously reiterating, be kind to yourself. Be good to yourself. Do the things that you want to do for you. Um, that could be the clarity. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, the Queen of Swords is in the recent past. The Queen of Swords, you know, all the kings and queens, all of them, they've been through life. It's like if you think of life, you think of um, the tarot, okay, and then you think of life. It all starts with the fool, right? Newborn, fool energy, brand new, newborn, if you can just kind of go with me here. Um, so you have the fool, you have a newborn, and then you go through, uh, you know, stages of your life. You're going through these growth, one through ten. You're going through these steps, this growth. And then you're reaching the page where you reach adolescence, teenage years, right? And then you go into the nights where you're, um, you know, maybe mid-twenties, something like that, into that. And then you go on into the kings and queens. And, and uh, you know, that's getting, um, it's like going into the phases and stages of life and, and growth in development right in your um, development as a person as a human being here on this earth you start as a baby and you go through all this and you get to the kings and queens and that's where your wisdom comes that's your old age right or you know or that's what we like to say old age right but I really feel like um, that's where you really get all your blessings because you start to see things and you start to understand things in a different way and you see how things in your life were always there to help you you know uh, navigate the journey and help you grow and evolve so um, there is that energy there where, you know, this is you, all the kings and queens, you know, being, we'll say, for the sake of argument, grandma, you know, grandma, grandpa, those kind of things. Those are the, the kings and queens. They, they've been through life and now they have all this wisdom that they can share, right? They can share it with us, with the world. So I feel like, um, you know, spirit just keeps re reiterating, take care of yourself. And this could be about a transition stage in your life. You could be actually like graduating from say, um, you know, maybe you're, you know, reaching the 50 mark or something like that. You're middle aged and you're reaching that 50 mark and it's a little bit exhausting. It's draining. It's scary. There's a lot of mental anguish, you know, or a little, or a lot of mental, um, energy because you're like okay now I'm 50 um what now and and life starts to take a new direction right and it's actually pretty good so you know but I do feel that energy spirit saying um for you to continue to take care of yourself Gemini because you're really going through a lot and you are at this um very delicate stage um I feel like here in your life now they had a lot of energy for the potential outcome and we're going to get to that but um first 
first we're going to look at uh, your outside influences. Outside influences, uh, you have the Five of Cups, so definitely still feeling drained, um, unfocused, you know, um, lack of, uh, and this is, this is reminiscing too, the Five of Cups, Five of Cups is often about looking back. If you think of the traditional tarot, the Five of Cups, you know, they're sitting there. He's got he's got a cloak on. He's cloaked. He's in isolation, right? So I, I feel like he's in isolation with that cloak on his, on his back. But he's in, um, you know, isolation, and he's, he's focused on what he's lost, and he's not seeing what he still has. And so I feel like outwardly you could be um, – you know focused on what you've lost and not seeing what you still have that could be a part of what's going on here is you're focused on the past you're focused on what has changed what you've left behind what you're letting go of right we have that fertilizing remember that 10 to 1 the 10 is the end that's what you're letting go of spirit says to fertilize clean it all out right look we've got scissors we've got pots we've got old you know old things that just aren't working for us anymore maybe you need new shears you know so spirit is saying to get rid of those things but right here i feel like um in the outside influences externally i feel like you're focused on what you no longer have i feel like you're focusing on what you've left behind and it, it could be you know outside influences it is an external influences so it could be um you know people coming around um things coming back remember mercury retrograde so things coming back and you're seeing things and you're just like oh man what everything i left behind what's what's there for the future i mean i feel like i'm leaving it all behind right i feel like i'm just letting go of everything um this is uh it can be it can be very traumatic right when you're going through this change and this is what i feel as the 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 uh spirit unfolds the story here i feel like um it's it's uh very traumatic and and difficult uh for you right now and um there's a lot of uh murky waters is what i really feel um unclear things uncertainty you know things aren't that clear you just don't know i feel like a loss of uh of um, direction here in the middle which it it can feel like that because you don't know what's happening so it can feel like that um with your hopes dreams and fears you have seven of cups there so there is that would represent that confusion that uh the murky waters and stuff, but it's also about having many options, different choices. So this could be about, you know, you have that mental anguish going on. This could be about you deciding what do you want? What are your des truest desires? The seven of cups is, um, you know, it's love, it's emotional, it's uh, your desires. What do you really want? It could be about love, maybe have choices. Um, in different partners or something like that but it is about um, many choices and it's something that brings you happiness something that fills your cup something that fulfills you so I feel like you're trying to decide here what do you really want what do you really want what really fulfills Gemini right what really fulfills you where do you want to go in this new leg of the journey where do you want to be um, definitely at a crossroads <laughs> definitely at a crossroads and it's very confusing very difficult um, here I just want to pull these cards apart and see what spirit has given us for a potential outcome because I'm seeing in the future um, there's the two of swords in reverse so it's like you not seeing a direction you not knowing which direction to go you come to this crossroads this may take you some time to figure out Gemini um, in the potential, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So this is you, you know, being able to, to rise above it. And then uh, we have the Five of Swords too. Okay, so we have um, the Five and the Ten. So I am seeing increments of Five. I'm seeing a lot of change here. These two are in reverse. This is actually very good. So um, in the future, you may actually... Um, it may be about you choosing a different path. Now, the Two of Swords is here in the future in the reverse. It's about not seeing, um, you know, clearly or not seeing a resolution, not seeing a way to way out or something like that. 
um, being kind of stuck, which I think we were talking about that early in your reading that their energy was feeling kind of stuck. Um, so I feel like you're gonna you're going to be dealing with this for some time, which uh, you know Mercury doesn't go direct until the 25th. But then you've got you know you've got to think about uh, two weeks shadow period. So you've got some time here, um, Gemini, that I feel like you're going to be going through this. Ultimately, um, you know what I'm seeing here is. Um, you may you may leave some things from the past, but you may keep some things there. You're definitely leaving things behind, but you do have that energy of the past. So I feel like there's someone in your past that may resurface that you actually that actually becomes a part of your future. Okay, um, a peaceful solution with that five of swords. Um, we have the two of cups. Um, so. The two of cups then we have the temperance which is in reverse and the fool that is in reverse so see there's still this freaking wobbly kind of freaking energy um it's like uh on one side <laughs> you are the twins on one side you things can work out and on the other maybe not and it's all a matter of which path you choose we are the co-creators of our life um so I feel like there's two separate energies here. I feel like ultimately you're going to see the truth. Now some of you are going to see the truth and you're actually probably going to come to some peaceful resolution uh, or you may rise above it. You may turn the other cheek on some uh, um, something from the past whatever it may be. It may be someone that you loved or, or something like that. Um, Gemini, I don't know what's going on in, in your life, okay? But that is the energy. And then the others of you, I feel like, um, I, okay, Gemini, there's, <laughs> there's really no easy way to put this. I feel like you may choose, like you may not, you may not make your own choices like someone may make the choice for you because you maybe don't do the work or something you don't put in the energy you don't put in the work you don't go ground yourself you don't go get clear you don't go figure it out whatever it may be and you may actually continue to um fight the fight fight the battle um stick with whatever it is that that um spirit is saying you know to let go of um, to release so that you can start this new leg, this new journey. Um, I feel like you want to, but I feel like, I really feel like you want to start something new and you want it really, really desperately for yourself. But I feel like some of you just are so caught up in the lives of others with this Five of Cups being in the external influences. You could be so caught up in the lives of others that you are neglecting yourself. And that's where spirit keeps saying, nurture yourself, take care of yourself. And um, it actually, for some of you, you may miss this opportunity. You have all this in reverse. It's like half and half. So there is a half and half. There is a, oh yeah, that six of coins. Remember, balance, balance. Um, so there, is, there has to be that equal give and take. And I feel like right now there's no equal give and take. There's no, there's no right path. There's no right direction. Like you are stuck right now. That's what I feel. The energy that I feel right now is that you are caught between peaceful resolution, what you want for yourself, you know, um, <clears throat> rising above it, turn the other cheek, going a different way, whatever it may be for you. And um, others, others, like you're torn between um, what you want for you and what others want of you. Hmm. Interesting. 
Interesting energy, Gemini. Um, the Two of Cups, because see, the Two of Cups is not compatible. It's in reverse, so it's not it's not compatible with you, right? The Two of Cups, it's not, it's energy that no longer serves you. Temperance is in reverse. It's it's an imbalance. It's a you know it's it, things are not clear. You're not seeing things clearly. And then you have the Fool in reverse, which is impulsive behavior. It's recklessness. It's you know it's um, all of that. So I do feel like there's this this just crossroads. <laughs> That you can't get past yet because you're in the in-between and you're unclear which way to go. Um, and I do feel like the past is a culprit. The past is very important here. The past for you, Gemini, right now during this Mercury retrograde is extremely important right now. It's going to make or break, I feel like, make or break whatever this is that you're wanting or hoping to do for you because you know at crowning you you have that that three of wands that um wanting to move forward wanting to you know you see your dreams you see your ships you see what you want for yourself and you're wanting to go for it it's actually taking the action it's like actually taking the steps to 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 move forward so mm. definitely your call gemini definitely your call let's get a little more thank you spirit let's get a little more Gemini. I I don't know what you're going to do in this situation, Gemini. I know it's very difficult. Um, I feel this energy myself. So I definitely know it's very uh, difficult to balance, you know, uh, yourself and what you want for yourself. And see, this, this, uh, this um, eclipse in Aries, Aries is about the self. It's about doing what's right for you. And I feel like there's this imbalance because you are so used to doing everything for everyone else and doing very little for you that, uh, you know, there's this imbalance here. Um, and this time, um, I feel like it's going to take some time for you to move forward, for you to come to a decision, for you to see things clearly, to clearly decide whatever it is that you're wanting. Um you know, do you want to rise above it? Do you want to turn the other cheek? Turn the cheek on, you know, yourself, on love, on something from the past. Maybe that brought you emotional fulfillment, that six of cups, right? Um, brought you emotional fulfillment. Or do you want to, you know, stay with something that is just chaotic and draining and, you know, because you're drained. It's right here at the center. It's right here at the center is uh, the Nine of Wands. You're definitely drained. Could be completely depleted from energy. Anyways. Cards keep falling down. Hmm. This is interesting, Gemini. This is very interesting um, what is coming out here. I don't know if this is about a relationship or not. But uh, definitely... Um, coming out here and remember spirit okay so spirit is showing me this card as i'm talking about this the seven of cups is in your hopes wishes dreams and fears so the seven of cups is about a lot of choices but it's also wishful thinking thinking it's hopeful thinking you're thinking about possibly someone you love <clears throat> someone possibly from the past that you know maybe you would like for something to start back up but things are unclear things may have not been very good in the and you know before um with all of this energy coming in here uh, things may not have um there may not have been enough time yet for things to heal with this energy coming in but we have guilt or it says guilty don't let guilt get in the way of your happiness so if you are you know, staying stuck for others, um, maybe out of guilt or something like that. Spirit is saying, don't let that get in the way of your happiness. Um, allow yourself to propel. Allow yourself to move forward. Go up these steps, right? Um, go for whatever it is that you're wanting. And then you have the marriage card. The marriage of souls is the union of two divine opponents. So I do feel like for a lot of you, this is about a uh, choice in a, you know, in a partnership or something like that. Some sort of contract that you have a lot at stake with. You may have a past with. It's very unclear though. There's so much um, that is unclear. 
And the main thing that spirit has been saying here is to nurture yourself. Take care of yourself right now, Gemini, because you're all up in your head. All of this energy is coming back. Now you need to ground yourself, right? The energy is coming back, so you ground yourself, get out there, recharge, take care of yourself, nurture yourself, give that love to yourself, give yourself that harmony, that balance, um, that stability, because you need it. The six of coins, the coins are stable, they're stability, so give yourself that stability, that nurture that you need. Um, because otherwise there will no there will not be a decision made you will not come to a clear decision otherwise you will be stuck in the in between of what you want and what is the past right um you will be stuck there if you if you cannot give yourself that energy give yourself that love that you need um deeply Let's get you a Be Your Own Magic, Gemini. See what they say. Excuse me. This is quite interesting energy. <clears throat> the outcome really just, um, it's still just kind of... Um, Kind of just frustrates me, right? It's like I always got a freaking choice and figure it out. <laughs> so number 36, gold. You don't need someone else to fix you. Now 36 reduces to a nine, so that's a hermit energy, Virgo energy. I did mention Virgo in the um beginning of the reading. So you could be dealing with a Virgo, but hermit energy, this is all about gaining that insight, going it within. You are in the in-between right now. This is the perfect time for you to be recharging your energy and to be um, reflecting and looking at things and gaining that clarity, gaining that insight, talking with your guides and saying, you know, guide me because man, I'm freaking confused. I don't even know what to do. It's almost like you don't even know what you want with the future outcome or potential outcome being the way it is. It's so clouded. It's so murky. It's one way or the other. It's like you want one thing, but you kind of don't because I feel like you're tied to something from the past that is still um, got a hold on you. Oh my gosh, I'm getting that song. You really got a hold on me. Really got a hold on me. I'm not a singer. That song might be important, but I feel like there's something here that has a hold of you, and because of that, the, the future, the potential outcome is even unclear because you don't know truly what you want. Um, you, uh, you know, you don't see the right path. You don't see the right way. You don't know what to do, right? In the future, you had the two of, two of swords in reverse, so you're unclear. You don't know what to do. You don't see which way is the best way to go. Do I go forward? Do I go backward? Do I do I do a little bit of this, a little bit of that? What do I do? Well, you allow it to end. Look at this, 36, 37. There's a synchronicity. There's um, synchronicity. That's a step. You take the steps that are required of you, Gemini, to get to where you want to. And right now, Spirit is saying the steps that are required for you is to nurture yourself, to get outside and, you know, um, free your mind from all this exhaustion. Look at this. Get outside. Look at the horizon. If you can get to water, nature, any way, any form, um, if you can get outside, even if you, like, I, I moved from Alaska back home to West Virginia, and I'm currently with my daughter helping her out, and, and uh, she lives in the city, and, and I'm not big on cities, um, but I go outside, and I take my shoes off, and I just plant my feet on the grass, so even if you, you know, have a little, you know, yard that's, you know, patio size, I mean, you can still get out there and just uh, plant your feet, take your shoes off, get connected, really connected. It feels so amazing. And then close your eyes and maybe breathe in, take those deep breaths, you know, and just soak it all up and, and experience it. So I feel like right now, a spirit really is saying, nurture your soul, your spirit, your mind, because you're pretty exhausted. Number 37, reducing down to that 10. There's that 10 again, 10 1. So you are definitely in the in between. Gray endings are inevitable. 
It's something you're not wanting. I feel you not wanting to let go of something here, possibly from the past. You're holding on. You're held, you're held to it. You're still tied. You got to cut it. You got to cut the cord because endings are inevitable. But if it's meant for you, Gemini, it'll come back around when it's better suited for you, for sure. Okay. All right, let's get you a mindful message to help you out while you um, are going through this. Spirit, what can Gemini be mindful of to help them while they're going through this um, very difficult time, it seems like? Outside of nurturing yourself. <laughs> Definitely want to nurture that spirit and that soul, that mind, rest that mind. I don't know about you, Geminis, but um, I'm a Gemini sun moon, and I have it in the 8th house, and I'm a Scorpio rising, and uh, the eclipse yesterday, I slept through it. <laughs> I was drained. It, it just <sighs> drained me so much, I, I slept through it. And I was just talking with you about, um, you know, getting outside, close your eyes, take those breaths. That is the card that Spirit is giving you, to remember to breathe. Remember to breathe. It says, it's easy for me to return to the present moment simply by breathing. If I am feeling anxious or worried, I close my eyes and breathe in as deeply as I picture myself filling up with white light. Then exhale and envision stress and tension leaving my body. In this moment, I am free to gently stretch and open my eyes feeling re refreshed. So when you're out there, you know, close your eyes, take those breaths, stretch your body. Oh, that feels so amazing, you know. So just get out there and do those, those great things for yourself and remember to breathe. Bring in that energy. Ground yourself. It's going to be vitally important for you right now, Gemini. This is a very difficult time, and I do feel like um, we're not going to get through it anytime soon. Like, this is going to linger on for a few weeks because we've got that Mercury retrograde. And this one is a very, very potent um, retrograde. You know, it has, uh, it's, I mean, it's meeting up with, uh, you know, freaking um, the North Node, Chiron Junction, all that stuff going on, right? Um, so this is, it's very potent. We, I mean, this is a powerful time. Powerful. Um, very powerful. Let's see. Gemini. 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 Trying to find your charms. If you follow me, my pinky has a, it's my charm finder and I'm not picking up on it. No. Sorry, Gemini. If I don't feel it, I'm not pulling it. Um, See, the clarity is not there. That's not it. Gemini. Okay, thank you. Gosh, took freaking forever to find that. I don't know, Gemini. Look at this. You got the ring. So definitely your contracts, which this is your energy. You're the lovers in the um, tarot. So uh, definitely about a contract. Could be about a marriage. You have that marriage card coming in there. Could be about deciding whether or not to leave a marriage or something or to get married whatever it may be you also have the angel wing and you have the jesus fish so i do feel like the divine is saying tap in connect with us talk with us listen to your angels listen to um you know your god or or whatever whatever i'm not going to get into that but the jesus fish this is unconditional love so give yourself that love. And then also you have a key. You have a key. So definitely a door to open here. Gemini, you hold the key. The key is within. You're going to have to go inside and get clear. Figure out what it is that you're wanting. Um, think about these, these, like, right? Seven of Cups. Think about these wishes. Wishful thinking. What are you wishing for? Are they really going to bring you fulfillment? Um think about those things gain that clarity ask for that insight from your guides from your team and then um listen to it go outside get grounded okay all right and until next time take great care of yourself as always may love and kindness boomerang back to you Bye bye